And now you too. Joey brings it back again. Callie, another day, another gorgeous day. Beautiful day to be alive, guys. Coming at you from the home office. I'm gonna talk some cards. I hope this video finds you well. I hope that, you know, you're all staying safe and healthy and that we're all doing okay. That's the most important thing, remember. Let's talk some cards, guys. I'm gonna show you some cards that I have for sale right now on eBay. As you guys know, man, I'm documenting my journey, selling off the collection. Not the whole collection, guys. A card or two. Trimming off the fat, taking some money off the table. Upgrading, paying off some bills. Adding new cards to the PC, guys. So what do I got for sale right now? The set that I grew up on, we're talking 1979 tops, 10 years old. This was the first set that I bought packs with. I think it was a quarter a pack. Those were the days, man. My local LCS right down the street on the corner of where my parents had their original business. These were the cards, you know, since that was the year I started collecting, I started thinking, well, I'm going to do this whole set autograph. But the more and more I started to look at prices, I started noticing that these cards run just as much as the older vintage cards do. And I didn't want to throw that much money onto an autograph set where I could build, let's say, this is a 79, where I could build, let's say, a 58 top set where the commons basically run almost the same price. I mean, the Hall of Famous, that's a different story. So I started, I have about two dozen cards. I always start with the Hall of Famous, but I decided I'm not gonna go that route. So I have a few cards. I, I was wanted to do this set as well, the 77 tops, but I kind of ran into the same thing. Great players, great looking cards. Look at the Mad Dog. Now that is a gorgeous looking card. You can get this in your PC for under 10 bucks. Gorgeous, man, especially if you're into clutch hitters of the 1970s. It didn't get any better than that, let me tell you. All right, guys, enough rambling. What did I sell this week? Man, the market is just going crazy. Um, the prices continue to go up. It's, I mean, it's fun to be along for the ride, but... I don't know, do I don't know if I necessarily like it. I mean, let, let me explain it. I like it in the sense that I have a humongous collection. For me anyway, for an average Joe. I have thousands and thousands of cards. So the prices are going up. The problem is <laughs> I have to put a lot of them, you know, in the safety deposit box. I have a bunch of them in different vaults. Um, what do I do with them all? Where do I store them? It's not practical to store them at the house anymore. So I'm trimming off the fat, getting my collection lean and mean. And um, I'm able to ride the curve, ride the, the graph straight up right now. It's not straight up for vintage. For the modern, it is. Um, I don't know how sustainable that's going to be. But for the vintage, it's a nice and steady climb. So I'm making a profit and I'm having tons of fun. So what did I sell? Check this out, guys. We're talking 1947 to 66 exhibits with the autograph, Hank Aaron. I had a hammer, Mr. Aaron Clutch, man. One of the greatest of all time. Gorgeous, gorgeous looking card. I bought this card thinking that, man, that autograph looked fantastic. It was going to get a gem in 10. But when I got it and I was able to scan it and really, really take a good look at it up close, what I didn't like was that right there, that little bit of a shakiness that's going to not let this grade a gem in 10, in my opinion. The autograph would probably grade a 9, a mint 9. 
and I really want this card in a gem in 10. So I'm still hunting for it. Um, it was a good purchase. There's no doubt it's authentic. It had the slab there. This is the way I purchased it. I got it at a discount, no doubt. These cards will run you between two and 300, and I was able to get it for half the price. Um, like I said, it, it came with a little slip there. But when I got this up close, I changed my mind, you know, and I just, I want to keep hunting for the perfect exhibit card of Mr. Aaron, where it's going to get the gem in 10 on the graph. So let's see the numbers. Let's look at the numbers. So this one I had just recently, recently purchased January of this year. I got it for a hundred bucks. So I listed it at a hundred and someone, one guy bid, sold it for a hundred plus shipping on top. Zero dollar profit, but sometimes it's like that. No big deal. I just got my money back. I was happy. Um, like I said, if I can get a nice, nice looking one that I know is going to grade a gem mint, I buy it at 200. That gem mint 10 is going to make it go to 300, just like that. But you really, really have to have a good eye. And my experience told me that that little shakiness on the k right there was going to hold this down to a nine so i decided to to move on but good card it's a beautiful looking card beautiful looking autograph authentic all day it doesn't get any better than that win-win for me what else did i sell this week check out this one kind of the same thing sgc authentic autograph None other than Whitey Ford, Yankees, 47 to 66 exhibits. Same thing when I got um, this, auto, this slab up close, uh, I kind of noticed the same thing. Sometimes the scans just don't do it justice and you got to take a chance. But I noticed that that W right there was really, really light. And I knew that was going to hold it back. Plus, this is an older uh, Whitey Ford autograph. I kind of like his more modern autograph. And so the reason I'm going to let this one go, I already have a Whitey Ford autograph in a gym, Mint 10. 1964 Tops Giants. I just like his more modern autograph. It's a little more fancy, a little more consistent. And I'm going to try to get this card one day if I can find it, but the only way I try to get these cards is when I know they're gonna get that gem mint 10 auto grade, and I just didn't think this one would. I would cross this over, spend 20 bucks, and at the end of the day, I was not going to be happy with that mint nine autograph. I just knew it. So I sold it. Let's see what the numbers look like. I don't think it's gonna to be too shabby here. Exhibits Ford purchased June of 2018 for $36. And I just sold it for $53.52 plus shipping on top. A $17.52 profit. Man, I love it. 48% return on investment. Even though I always like to say, guys, these are not investments. Just make smart decisions, man. Buy cards that you know are gonna minimum hold value never go down in value and if you are going to try to flip and invest man do your research do your research at least in my opinion and i'm not an expert in modern cards not even in the bottom 10 percent if you're going to try to invest and flip in modern cards at least do so the way i see some collectors doing it do so with the mike trouts do so with the griffies do so with the Jordans, with the LeBron James. Don't buy these cards of guys that in five years, we're not even going to know who in the hell they are anymore. You're going to lose all the investment. Someone's going to be left holding the bag. I hope it's not you. I hope it's not anyone, actually. You guys need to stop it. But invest your money wisely, guys. Get names that are pretty much guaranteed are going to be Hall of Famous. Just like these two guys, man. You're never going to lose money. You'll always be able to get your money back. There's no risk. It's a slower um, climb for a profit. 
But man, steady as she goes, that's my opinion. And I just love collecting. I'm 100% a collector, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed my little video. Check out these cards, man. Gorgeous, man. If you're interested in any of these, hit me up. I'll, get you, I'll give you a deal compared to the eBay price, no doubt. Tony Perez in the Expos uniform. Johnny Bench, legend. And the way I buy my cards, man, we're talking gym, mint, 10 autographs. Look at that bench. Amazing. That is a good looking card. Both of these cards, look at the Jim Rice. When they have that all-star emblem on there, gorgeous, man. Look at the Lou Brock Hall of Famer. Again, Jim Mint 10 quality autograph. None other than the Goose. Man, Rod Carew, look at that autograph. Gorgeous. He had one of, now he doesn't. He's just up there in age. He doesn't sign the way he used to. His autograph is getting very weak. But when he was signing and he was healthy, smooth. Look at the way he kicks out that W at the end. Gorgeous. The Mad Dog, man. I love it. If you're interested in any of these guys, shoot me a holla. I'll give you a good deal compared to the eBay price. Hey, man. It's Joey Brings It. We're talking cards. West Coast Cali. Everybody be safe, man. I'm going to be posting more of these videos. I hope you enjoy. A couple of minutes over 10. <sighs> it is what it is, guys. I try my best. It's your YouTube brother wishing you the best. Joey Brings It. Kelly.